pour ceux qui ne comprennent pas l'anglais, prenez note que j'ai fait la même vidéo en français que vous pourrez trouver sur mon, euh, ma chaîne YouTube. What is a close-up lens? A close-up lens is a lens, a converging lens, that uh, we put in front of a regular lens so we can get closer to the subject. There is uh, many kind of uh, close-up lens on the market. Uh, the cheapest ones are made with only one single lens inside and often they are not multi-coated. If you pay more money, you can have better close-up lens made of two or more lenses inside. In this case, uh, I have the Canon 250D the D uh, stand for uh, double. Uh, that Canon close-up lens is made of two glass elements inside. They are glued together, <coughs> and this uh, configuration gives a better correction for chromatic aberration. Uh, here, like I said, the D in the uh, the name of the lens means double, which is uh, a lens made with two glass elements. You can also find some uh, even better lenses. Uh, probably you know that uh, that kind of shape. These are the Renox close-up lens, and the Renox close-up lens are made with three glass elements. They are on the market. They are some of the best close-up lens you can find. Uh, in, in addition, these uh, lens have uh, multi-coated. Uh, treatment on the surface so it will reduce uh, reflection and ensure a better contrast. The close-up lens is to the camera lens what a magnifying glass is to the eyes. Like the magnifying glass you can have uh, all kind of a glass that have different size, different diameter, different thickness. Close-up lens also have different uh, design with a different power. We, uh, we specify close-up lens power value uh, in di diopter. Uh, the weakest one have a plus one diopter value then you get a stronger one with a plus two diopter value. I even have here a plus four diopter value. Uh, these diopter value are similar to the diopter value that we have for eyeglasses. So with a close-up lens that is having a four plus four diopter value, you will have a, a larger magnification than with a plus one and you will also get closer to the subject than the plus one. Another way to specify close-up lens power is by uh, telling its uh, focal length. The lower the focal length of the close-up lens you have, the greater you will have uh, the magnification for that close-up lens. This comes from the uh, formula that says the diopter value is equal to 1000 millimeter divided by the focal length where D is the diopter value and F is the focal length of the close-up lens. If you transform that equation you can also write that F is equal to 1000 millimeter divided by the diopter value. As I mentioned earlier uh, power of close-up lens are often specified in diopter value like uh, these uh, cheap one here have a value of a plus one plus two plus four diopter uh, there is even some uh, plus ten diopter available in the market uh, in some other some other company don't specify the value of their close-up lens in diopter but in millimeter uh, in the case of the uh, Canon 250D that I mentioned earlier, here the 250D means 200 millimeter focal length, and the D in this case is, doesn't mean diopter, but the D here means double. So this uh, Canon 
close-up lens has a value of 250 millimeter converted into uh, diopter it would be a plus four and for some other company like uh, Raynox their name doesn't tell us anything about the power of the lens this one is a DCR M150 and this one is a DCR N M sorry DCR M250 uh, if you want to know the power of these lens in either millimeter or diopter you will have to consult the data sheet of that lens what we have to remember from the previous equation is that to get a big enlargement a big magnification you will need a close-up lens with a high diopter value or a small focal length value when uh, when you are attaching a close-up lens to a camera lens you are changing camera lens optical formula this uh, 50 millimeter lens with a close-up lens in front is no more a 50 millimeter lens it has a different value a lower value and another thing that you will be uh, realizing is when you put a close-up lens on a camera lens this lens cannot focus anymore to infinity it will it will focus closer when the lens is set at infinity and that distance uh, will vary according to the uh, close-up lens power or optical value diopter value for example if i put this plus one close-up lens on this 50 millimeter lens like I said the lens is no more a 50 millimeter lens and this lens this lens uh, combination cannot focus anymore to infinity the furthest the, the most further distance you can take a picture with this assembly will be 1000 millimeter you can take picture closer than 1000 millimeter but you will never be able to go further than 1000 millimeter with that lens close-up combination if you replace that lens by the plus four close-up lens we change again the optical formula of the 50 millimeter which is not the same formula same optical formula that we had with the plus one <clears throat> and like with the plus one this lens combination with the close-up won't focus anymore to infinity the closest distance that you will be able to focus with the plus four which has a 250 millimeter uh, value will be 250 millimeter from the close-up so i can take picture anything anywhere closer than 250 millimeter but I won't be able to go further than 250 millimeter of course being closer here at 250 millimeter instead of 1000 millimeter you can expect to have more magnification <clears throat> let's take some example okay as uh, as as you will see in the corner there if I use the plus one close-up lens the maximum focal the maximum distance i can take a picture will be one meter and at that distance if the lens is set at infinity i will have a magnification of 110 uh, sorry 120f or 0.05x if i replaced that plus one with the plus two which has a focal length of 500 millimeter then the further I, the the most distant object i can take a picture will be 500 millimeter or anything closer but never more than 500 millimeter with that uh, assembly i will have a magnification of one tenth of, uh, of an X or 0.1 uh, X 
and finally, if I take the plus four, like I mentioned earlier, it has a focal length of 250 millimeter. I won't be able to go further than 250 millimeter with my focus, but I can get close focus closer. And of course, I will get more magnification than without any close-up lens attachment on it. The magnification with this uh, combination here will be one-fifth of an X or 0.2 X. And of course, a lot more magnification if you focus at the minimum focus. You can also vary magnification by uh, changing camera lens instead of changing the close-up lens. Uh, longer focal length on the camera will give you uh, larger magnification and I will demonstrate that technically in a video later uh, instead of giving you the uh, practical demonstration right now. But for the practical demonstration here what I have been doing with the, uh, the uh, experiment. First picture you will see was taken with the 50 millimeter lens and a plus four close-up lens or a 250 millimeter close-up lens. With that uh, lens arrangement, uh, I got a magnification of about uh, one fifth, uh, sorry, one one fifth of an X or 0 uh, 0.2 X. Uh, with this magnification, when the lens is set up, of course, at infinity. If to get more magnification, I replace that 50 millimeter lens with a 100 millimeter lens. And the same close-up lens, I'm not changing the close-up lens, I'm using the same one. I will get a magnification of 0.4x instead of 0.2x. So I doubled the camera focal length and it doubled the uh, magnification. Now, if I replace the 100 millimeter lens with a 250 millimeter lens, always set at infinity, and always using the same close-up lens, I will have a magnification of 1x and since the lens is five times stronger than the 50 millimeter lens here, my magnification is also five times stronger instead of having 0.2x magnification. I can multiply it by five. It's five times stronger. Magnification is five times stronger and I got a magnification of 1x. So what you have to uh, retain, to remember, is the stronger the focal length is on your camera for a given close-up lens, the stronger the magnification will be. Beware that uh, long focal length often have a very very large uh, front diameter and uh, make sure that uh, your close-up lens also have a large diameter otherwise if you try to fix a small close-up lens on a large diameter focal length you can be assured that you will get some vignetting. Vignetting is, a is the darkening of the corner of your image. <clears throat> Same problem can occur also with wide-angle lens. Uh, for example, this, uh, this wide-angle lens has uh, quite a large angle of view. And if I use a thick, uh, a, a thick uh, close-up lens on it, uh, in front of a, such a large angle of view, 
uh, the lens may see the inside of the close-up lens and then you also get some uh, vignetting uh, happening with those uh, wide-angle lens and thick uh, close-up lens. Finally, I would say that uh, if you use uh, close-up lens on the large, long telephoto lens, uh, make sure you use a good one because cheaper uh, close-up lens used on telephoto often create some kind of uh, fog in your image. It's like, a, if, it's like if there is a fog into the image. It's not really, really sharp. It's soft focus and it's not uh, sh uh, sharp. But there is company that makes large diameter close-up lens and uh, the one with the good quality are available. I know the company Nisi and ISI uh, they make large uh, diameter close-up lens. They are quite expensive, but they have excellent quality. Using close-up lens is quite simple. You uh, only attach the uh, close-up lens to the camera lens by screwing it in front, in the front thread of uh, your lens. And uh, it's ready to use. You can also have some different type of attachment. Raynox has some uh, clip-on style close-up. Uh, the close-up is attached to a plastic mount in which there is two buttons that you can press and by doing so you can adapt it to many size of uh, lens filter size. This is quite easy to attach as you saw. It holds well. The only thing I don't like in this system is because it's spring-loaded, it's easy to move the lens back on, on the left or on the right. That means that the uh, optical axis of the close-up is not always centered on the lens axis. So for that reason, I don't always use the clip-on type mount and instead what I do is I can detach from the close-up. I can detach the plastic mount and then I can use a, a filter adapter. This is a step down, step up filter adapter that is a 52 to 43 millimeter so I can screw the uh, Raynox to that, to that adapter. and then you can screw the assembly to the camera lens. This way you will ensure that uh, the optical axes are well centered together. I can also attach uh, my Canon adapter the same way. This can adapt, this Canon adapter, the uh, this Canon close-up lens has a diameter of 58 millimeter and with the step down 52 to 58 the Canon adapter can be adapted to my Nikon lens the same way and then I can use different size of uh, close-up with different size of lenses. One of the advantage of the close-up lens is that you can still use the autofocus of your camera with it if your lens has the autofocus capability. The close-up will not modify the autofocus capability of that lens. However, when you do close-up photography, often the depth of field is very, very shallow. And when you try to use autofocus system with shallow depth of field, often the, uh, the, the camera system just pass over the perfect focus. When, when it reach the end of the lens uh, travel, then it comes back, pass over again, and search the focus back and forth like this and pass too fast over the perfect focus. So you may miss a picture because the lens is trying to find the focus, it won't find it, and then the subject may leave. So what I recommend when you do that, 
just make sure that you uh, deactivate the autofocus system of your camera so it becomes a manual focus system just set the lens such a way that you got the uh, magnification you need or the, the magnification you want and then once you have that don't touch the focus ring anymore just look in the finder and move back and forth on your subject until the picture is sharp and then you can release the shutter this way you may get the focus a lot faster and this way you may not miss a good shot because of that uh, uh, focus search focus search by the autofocus system it is possible to increase magnification by stacking close-up lens together um, if I take a plus four close-up lens and if I take a plus two close-up lens and I, if I screw them together the final power of the close-up lens will be the addition of each diopter together the assembly of a plus four with the plus two becomes a plus six diopter close-up lens and the plus six, plus six diopter close-up lens gives you more magnification than the plus four or the plus two when you do stack uh, close up together always put the strongest close up near the lens for example I put the plus four first then I put the plus two and if I need more magnification I can also put the plus one at the front and that becomes a plus seven diopter close up lens <clears throat> in theory it works in practice it's not as good as it sounds because each close-up lens will bring to the original lens some defects close-up lens do not increase quality they do reduce it a little bit each time you put one so when i put the first close-up lens on the lens i decrease slightly the quality if I put the second one I will decrease quality again and if I put the third one I will also decrease quality again uh, what kind of quality loss do you get often this is uh, creating some kind of uh, chromatic aberration on the edge of the image and most of the time especially if you work at large aperture on your lens you will get some softening of the image some kind of a fog into your image so uh, this is not really what you would like to get <clears throat> so as an example if I want to use uh, my 50 millimeter lens with a plus six then I will put plus two on plus four and I put the assembly on my 50 millimeter lens to get a specific magnification doing so I would recommend instead if you can use only one close-up lens the plus four but increase the focal length of your lens instead of using a 50 millimeter lens I will use a 75 millimeter lens quality will be better if I use 75 lens with one close-up lens plus four rather than using this 50 millimeter lens with the plus four and the plus two so it gives me the same magnification at the end except that the uh, the, the choice of using the 50 millimeter lens may increase decrease the quality of the uh, final image so as I said <coughs> uh, always put the strongest one first followed by the next strongest power the plus two for example in this case and then the plus one if you do so and uh, expect to get some kind of uh, softening of the image or fog into your image that might be the the effect that you are looking for if you want to take flower picture and give it the, some kind of a mood with a soft or foggy mood then 
you can try it but if you expect to get some kind of a good sharp quality with an excellent contrast uh, don't stack close-up lens together try to use only one instead increase the uh, focal length of your primary lens one more advice I can give you is uh, when you use a close-up lens a good one or especially bad ones or even worse when you use a stack close-up lens uh, light rays coming from the side or even backlit to your subject light rays that will hit the front lens especially with stack close-up lens or bad close-up may uh, eventually create some uh, softness some fog in your picture because of the flare especially if the lens the close-up lens are not multi-coated so when you do so when you use close-up lens especially outside when you use close-up lens with the risk of having some light rays coming from the side even if you don't see the sun in your picture the light ray may hit the front lens uh, this will this will create some uh, loss of contrast and some kind of fogging so if you have some lens shade okay don't hesitate to use them I mean unless they create some kind of vignetting in your picture uh, it will only help it won't damage uh, the quality of your image instead it will increase the quality of your image because you are reducing the uh, light rays that are hitting the front lens and then are decreasing the contrast so always use a lens shade when you use close-up if you can one advantage of uh, the close-up lens that i didn't mention yet is uh, the fact that uh, when you use close-up lens on another lens uh, usually there is practically no loss of light uh, compared to extension tube or a macro bellow where there is a lot of uh, loss of light according to the extension you, you put. So uh, close-up lens do not have much loss of light. However, since they are, uh, uh, they are not designed for, especially for this specific lens, they are a stranger lens if i can call it this way they are stranger lens that can only uh, reduce quality of the primary lens and though uh, i would recommend you when you use close-up lens to step down the diaphragm about two stop or even three stop to ensure that you are correcting most of the uh, uh, optical defect aberration and also the light the, the uh, contrast decrease that you get with close-up closing down the lens will improve contrast uh, a little bit more so uh, this is uh, this is a big advantage that the close-up lens have on uh, <coughs> on the um, extension tube uh, one other thing also is the fact that uh, when you do uh, close-up photography uh, depth of field is very shallow so by stopping down your lens two or three stop will help increasing the depth of field for a better picture this uh, this complete the uh, practical aspect of using close-up lens and uh, uh, in uh, micro photography or close-up photography uh, the uh, I will prepare another video about close-up lens where I will talk more about uh, the uh, optical aspect of uh, close-up photography. Uh, it's more more theory than uh, practic practical, and uh, this is done simply to satisfy uh, to satisfy curiosity of uh, those photographer who would like to know what happens uh, between the subject and between the sensor so uh, it is not necessary to understand it or to look at it to take a picture with close-up lens but uh, if you're curious to know what's what's the theory behind it then i will explain it uh, a little bit more in detail
If you enjoy this video, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, click uh, the button like or jam or thumbs up that is below this video. Uh, at the same time, uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any friend that uh, like uh, macro photography or close-up photography, uh, let them know about my channel. And uh, this way I will, uh, the more people I will have on my channel, the more I will be motivated to do more video like this one. Uh, until next video, enjoy photography.